United Cerebral Palsy of Orange County plays a vital role in serving children with disabilities and their families. Oftentimes when children are diagnosed with cerebral palsy, they have multiple disabilities. They have a dual diagnosis. It's not uncommon for kids with CP to also have autism, epilepsy, or even hydrocephalus. So for that reason, we've broadened our scope and we now serve a variety of needs, also including Down syndrome. Our goal is through physical therapy to kind of address these challenges and to go from this concept of disablement to enable them and find what is unique about that child, what is the thing that that child wants to do. And it's only through therapy and this multidisciplinary approach that you could enable the child to kind of uh, achieve the goals that he wants. Our goal is probably not going to be achieved unless we all come together. Andrew was diagnosed with a brain tumor when he was a baby, and during the treatment for that, he was also diagnosed with autism. And these two diagnoses totally changed our lives. We went from going to the park, to the merry-go-round, to instead going to cancer doctors and autism doctors and physical therapists and speech therapists. UCP's mission of life without limits for people with disabilities, it really speaks to me as a mother of an autistic child because that is exactly what I want for my child. I want him to live the fullest, happiest life, uh, doing as many things, uh, having as many opportunities as, as he can have. He loves going to UCP, and we're really thankful to UCP too for helping Andrew and kids do like him. Well, we've learned some things about Andrew since um, Friday Night Club started. He is quite the ladies' man. Andrew and I have been best friends since we were little. Um, Andrew's the best friend that anybody could have. Um, he loves everybody with an open heart, and he doesn't judge anybody. Um, he's just such a blessing, and he teaches everyone what's important in life. Abby was born on July 7th, 2010, uh, at 23 weeks and 6 days gestation. Uh, she is a surviving twin who lost her brother Spencer at 15 days of life uh, to various medical complications. Abby was a pound and a half, one pound eight when she was born, about 12 inches long. Um, we have pictures of her with our wedding rings around her wrist. We're so thankful to have a place like UCP where we can watch her develop and thrive in a way. We're able to go to one place at UCP and get everything that Abby needs and really bring it all together. Ah. We're saving kids younger and younger that shouldn't be surviving and everybody loves that moment when they go home. It's a happy, healthy baby, but that's really when the real work begins. 